Bloomington woman is making sure people who are nonverbal can still communicate in an emergency. Christy Brown Laughlin is giving first responders in her community a brand new tool. It's called a communication board. Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton shows us how it works and the reason behind it. It's just about you know, helping people in our community, that's it. Earlier this year in Christy Brown Laughlin's neighborhood, a little boy with autism wandered away from his home and a Bloomington utility worker found him. He was nonverbal, and so the city worker called the police, the police came, and I just happened to look out the window. She saw the worker and police struggling to get information from the boy so they could get him back home. After seeing that situation unfold, Christy knew there had to be a better way. If it can just help one citizen who has difficulty communicating, then to me, that's a success. Christy teamed up with the local nonprofit sorority to buy 200 of these communication boards for police officers, firefighters, and EMTs. The boards are kept in their emergency vehicles. If the first responder goes out on a call and there's someone who's nonverbal, this board can help break that barrier. I really think it could be a useful tool. Officers and the person in need can point to certain pictures to help piece together what the problem is and how they can get help. Probably the ones at the top would be about probably the most uh, useful, such as, you know, what is your name, where do you live, uh, what is your birth date, do you feel sick. A simple resource that can help in a difficult situation. You know, Ethan is nonverbal. I'm not sure he can do language as by recognizing letters or not, but he will do a good job recognizing the pictures. Ethan is his five-year-old son. He's the little boy who accidentally wandered away in the neighborhood for a little while before that city worker and officer brought him home. This could have been mean that I lost one kid. So it's really, really great for me. These neighbors now share a connection and a passion for making sure in an emergency, everyone has a way to be heard. It's important that people be able to feel safe in Bloomington, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. Lindsay, thank you. So far, these communication boards are with the police and fire departments in Bloomington and Monroe County. A thousand more of these boards are headed to the Indiana State Police. The goal is for every first responder in the state to have one.